professional so in today's video we are going to be talking about your wedding is getting close oh my gosh what else should I be doing so you want to make sure you stay tuned for the whole entire video so you don't miss out on anything because this is very crucial to the success of your um, wedding day It's still gonna be successful but still it's just so you won't be trying to figure out what is it that you should be doing and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you know you're going to want these tips information and this is stuff that can be taken beyond your wedding if you're having a, an event um, coming up or you plan on having an event in the future we want to make sure that you stick with us as you come back with us so again hit the subscribe button comment uh, like the video leave all that down below and let's jump right into it so what should you be doing so number one you definitely want to just kind of sit down in a quiet setting and reflect on every single thing you want to make sure that you have everything possible from all the small details and a lot of things that people forget especially if they're going to be having those marquee lights which is the the little letters or big letters but mostly people get like the little letters or um shapes and stuff like that make sure that you have batteries okay so that's why it's good to just kind of go over every single thing visualize your wedding from the dj to the buffet to the seating to the flooring every little detail do you have tape do you have scissors do you have extra balloons do you have fishing line do you have um i think i said tape but i'm gonna say it again do you have batteries? Do you have um, tablecloths? Are you having high rise tables? Do you have tablecloths for those? Um, how do you want your tables to be set? Do you have every fine detail for the table setting? Um, you know, it's just a lot of different stuff that you really have to kind of sit down and think about line by line by line by line. So close your eyes, visualize, the room as it is and go over every little detail per area of that room so that is what you should be doing going over the very 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 fine details um, next touch bases with the venue and vendors you want to call each vendor that you have booked and confirm with them have them tell you the time the date the place in the location where there's to, you know, do all the deliveries. I could some people have designated um, doors that the venue, the vendors can go through. So you have to confirm all of that. Then you want to call up the venue or location to confirm your booking, to confirm the date, the time, uh, the person that's going to be helping you all if they're available, um, if there's somebody available. But it's really important that you really one week before everything literally go through everything and confirm 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 any prices any unpaid balances you want to make sure that your balances are already paid and you just want to confirm everything so there's no um loose ends there's nothing that pops up you want to make sure everything is finalized number four you want to give the caterer a special call because you want to confirm the menu you want to confirm the menu with the caterer to make sure that the caterer has the correct menu um knows about the special dietary needs of the people that let you know ahead of time and the caterer or whoever you spoke with said that they will make and prepare separate um food for the people that have dietary needs so you want to confirm all that you want to confirm the time with them you know you want to confirm 
everything. You want to call up the photographer, confirm the time with them. You want to call up the videographer. You want to call up any rentals like bounce houses, um, linens, tables, chairs. You want to confirm everybody. You want to have a list and you want to confirm every single detail with each and every venue and vendor, okay? If you are having your event, your ceremony at one location, you need to call them up. If you're having your ceremony at another, I mean, the reception at another place, you need to confirm with them. Don't just assume that people is a-okay. Things happen. People are human. Things get uh, forgotten, double booked, whatever. You want to confirm to make sure that everything is already going smoothly before the day comes. And number four excuse me it is super hot i'm trying to shoot this video so if i look a little sweaty that is why but number four take time for yourself you want to just kind of before your wedding because you do not you do not you do not you do not want to be stressed out you don't want to look tired you don't want to look overwhelmed. You don't want to look stressed out. And you don't want to just bombard your mind already with more wedding, 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 and anxiety and um, being anxious and excited and, you know, all the different emotions. So make sure that you take time for yourself. Maybe go get a massage, get a facial, just kind of breathe a little bit before the whole entire party I mean the whole entire wedding comes you want to take time out for yourself so whatever it is that you like to do maybe you want to go read a book maybe you want to go to some garden show whatever it is that you want to do take time for yourself um you know just you just want to make sure that you have everything already set into place with your wedding so that's why it's good to set deadlines with with throughout the wedding planning process so you do not get um do stuff last minute running around you don't really have time to breathe before the wedding and that is very important that you take a self-help mental break day two days tops three days um and shoot even if you get all your wedding planning stuff done maybe you could take that whole week off and just focus on you and do stuff that you need to do before the wedding day, before you fly out or go on your honeymoon. So take time out for yourself. It is extremely important to set deadlines so that way you can um, have time to breathe and you feel accomplished and you feel like you've done something and it doesn't feel like you just woke up and just kind of figured it out. So you have to have a game plan. You have to have things written down you have to stay organized and set your and set deadlines for yourself without you know feeling overwhelmed and then once you completed those tasks for that day let it be just that the day is done okay everything that you needed to do for that day is done then you want to move on to the next day set more tasks for that day and then when that day is done that day is done so you've already done your wedding planning job your wedding planning task for that day now you can relax for the the rest of the night and you don't have to worry about trying to add on to the following day's uh tasks so it's always good to stay organized stay on track um just take mental breaks in between us and don't constantly talk about your wedding and wedding 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 because that's also going to over overwork you overload your brain and stuff like that so take time for yourself so if you enjoyed all these tips and you want to see more tips and more tutorials and more hacks and anything wedding and event related make sure that you go ahead and tap that um hit that um face palm that um subscribe button and then join me for the next video but in the meantime look in the description and check out some more videos and also be on the lookout in future videos i'm going to be releasing my website very soon and on this website is going to have my and it's going to have an informative blog it's going to have wedding decorations that i'm going to sell 
plus you're going to see my trusted um, partner where we do event design and stuff like that. So it's going to be a whole website that needs your eyes, needs your time because it's going to be a place where you want to be. And we have so many blog posts. And then we also have our podcast over there. And our podcast has over a hundred episodes containing nothing but wedding related content, nothing but event related content. So that is a place where you need to be. So again, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below on videos that you want to see related to the wedding and event industry. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.